Okay, uh, this morning I was looking at my spectrum scope settings and I, I realized that I, I haven't done a, a video on them. I like the way that it looks. Uh, it reminds me of the old Flex uh, Radio 1500 I had and uh, the way the, the software setting was on it. If you uh, want to change your spectrum scope, it's in the manual, but uh, hold down uh, uh, this button on the far right and I'm going to go up to the very top. Uh, these are the settings that I have for my scope. Uh, top on, uh, maximum hold off, uh, center uh, type display is the carrier point and the marker position fixed type is the carrier point uh, bandwidth narrow, averaging I like it at 3, the waveform type this is interesting it's fill plus the line and below the waveform color I have set the black just zeros across uh, the waveform color line I like the green it looks good uh, the waveform color at the maximum hold is uh, this blue and uh, waterfall display on uh, waterfall speed I have uh, the mid and uh, the size mid uh, the waterfall peak uh, color level uh, I have set to 3 auto height is on and then there are your fixed edges but uh, anyway I like the way that this looks and yeah I can see uh, interfering signals uh, down the band uh, they'll peak out, and if they're in the, the pass band, I can uh, notch them out with my uh, manual notch filter. Uh, this looks uh, really good to me. I like it, and I just wanted to pass that along. So uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, 73.